There were few signs of a long-promised turnaround from BlackBerry as it reported an unexpected net quarterly loss of $84 million. That was better than the year earlier loss of $518 million, but the struggling smartphone maker offered little detail on sales of its make-or-break new devices in the quarter that ended at the start of June. They were launched earlier this year, but are only just reaching the crucial U.S. market. The analysts say shipment numbers indicate sales of those devices have not yet been as good as hoped. BlackBerry's shares slumped. The black and blue Friday for BlackBerry to close up the first half of the year. Stock nearly losing a third of its value today. Seema Modi, what's going on with this stock and how should investors be playing it? Well, Kayla, a huge disappointment for Wall Street as many believed BlackBerry would post a solid quarter. Instead, it posted a surprising operating loss. Revenue of $3.1 billion, though, was up 15%. Sequentially, Europe, Middle East, and Africa seeing a 9% jump. North America up 30%. Latin America posted a, posted a decline due to a Venezuelan foreign currency restriction which impacted its service revenues. On the conference call, CEO Thor Person Hines said, BlackBerry is still in transition period, and turnarounds take time. Regardless of today's results, BlackBerry still has a tough road ahead. According to William Blair, BlackBerry has less than 5% of the smartphone market share, but at its peak, it was well worth above 35 to 45%. The reason for the drop? competition from the likes of Apple as well as Android run phones including Samsung. Now William Blair goes on to say that long term viability is a concern. However, Jeffrey's analyst Peter Missick says it's too early to pass judgment on Blackberry.